Kai here, I'm Fuji here from kenoguy.com. Thank you for watching. And just before we start, uh, please uh, leave a comment or a like. Hit the like button if you like the video. And I love comments, and I, that makes me happy. And it keeps going. And please do leave a comment. Just one word uh, is fine, you know. Uh, uh, if you have suggestions please do i want to hear feedback too so please leave a comment that makes me very happy and it keeps going and okay uh in this video i would like to talk about uh this question uh, i received a question about elbows should uh, should i uh make them straight make both elbows straight or not there are people uh do that and i think that's okay uh there are many you know kendo is one you know like kendo doesn't have only one teaching it's like to accomplish one thing there are many theories behind and of course there are a lot of senses who learned different senses right so uh it's like in kendo we have many schools it, that kind of thing it's like old, in the old days a lot of kenjutsu schools uh we don't do that but it's like I do kendo like this. I do kendo like that. So there are different types of kendo. So it's okay. But I would like to uh, answer the question: Should I, you know, uh, keep both elbows straight or not? Uh, in old days, apparently my sensei, Miyazaki sensei, uh, told me that his sensei, Matsumoto Toshio sensei, ninth dan, he said when he was a kid, he was taught to uh, make it straight all straight and have your shunai right in front of you and all straight come on but when they were introduced 39 shunai long shunai back then uh they said oh, this is the uh, adult shunai so this is the standard shunai we're going to make it as standard and then it changed a lot this is uh, Iaito and Tsuka uh, This is 39 Shinai from Japan and Tsuka length is this much difference Like that, okay, so Tsuka got really long and at the top Let's see, okay The top two is a really different, okay this much difference so shinai got really long it, that means you have to adjust the uh, everything right kamai as well as how to hold shinai that's why uh matsumoto sensei matsumoto toshio sensei said apparently uh, he had to uh lift back uh, bring his le uh, left shoulder back so he can uh, unlock the left wrist because his he wants to his theory don't make wrinkles here okay so if you if I take two down with the 39 tsuka from Japan I haven't done anything to the tsuka so it's long see it's locked if you have wrinkles here that means you you you're locking your wrist okay and uh he thinks that's not good so what he does is pull pull he pull his left shoulder back okay in that way you can straighten the left uh wrist like that okay i'm still working on it <laughs> so this is a straight one if i do that see unlocked so that's his theory because of the length of uh tsuka. but of course you can make it shorter like i did like that i made uh, actually here we go uh, how can i do that okay yeah i made tsuka long uh tsuka shorter so and the length of shinai shorter too that's because of my shoulders my i have shoulder problems so if you keep and then if you strike if you're here uh, if the sky is short, you can actually uh, make your both elbows straight and then still don't feel awkward. 
uh, I don't feel locked anywhere but with the normal length 39 scut if I do that I really feel locked here and now I have shoulder problems and I have kind of bro broad shoulders too so if I do that I don't feel comfortable and then I feel pain here so I do this strike man and then my elbows is uh, what do you call it bent okay and if I do that and then if I I don't know if I'm doing it correctly because I don't my, it's not my uh, the way I do so you if you I want to strike man from here uh, you have to bring your shinai down right so you have to do this and your shoulder comes up too and that put pressure on my shoulders on my left shoulder and because of the, my uh, shoulder injury I, I cannot take that uh, pressure so I don't do it so in my opinion I don't think you you should ha uh, keep your both elbows straight but of course kendo has different teachings so if you can do it and you you have no problem with it I think it's okay but if you feel uncomfortable uh, and if you feel like pain especially you shouldn't be doing that so you should try to find out the way you know you have to keep your uh, keep your sword straight and you're you, sh you shouldn't be locking any uh, joints uh, if you lock it quite likely you get injured uh, so please kind of talk to your your body and talk to your sensei and then study what you can do uh, after all kendo is like you you get you you learn something and you have to study it you have to uh, make it work Brother. so that is the important part the process uh, I have to go and pick up my pick up my daughter so uh, to wrap up you don't have to do it okay but talk to your uh, teacher and figure out what you can do I hope this video helps you and uh, again if you like it please uh, click the like button and leave a feedback that will keep me going and thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video I'll go and pick up my daughter cheers bye